Buying football clubs around the globe is becoming more lucrative, even for some of the world's most famous names. So which celebrities are investing in the beautiful game and how are they influencing the sport? Hello there and welcome to Football Now from Doha. Over the last 18 months, we've seen a huge surge in celebrities stepping into the world of football. Hollywood actors, athletes and even musicians are putting their hard-earned cash into the world's biggest sports. But who are they? Let's take a look at some of the stars that have taken the plunge. In 2020, Hollywood powerhouses Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney took on the ownership of UK side Wrexham. Meanwhile, Natalie Portman has led a group of A-list Hollywood actors as owners of Los Angeles-based women's soccer team Angel City FC. This summer, UK rapper Stormzy and football sensation Wilfred Zaha joined forces to become joint owners of AFC Croydon. All of these celebrities have money in the game, but how much are they actively involved? Some may be passive investors, while others take a stronger role in the day-to-day -day operations. Many have even expanded their influence by venturing into multiple clubs, creating a diverse football portfolio. Well, there are several, really. I mean, if you look at uh, you look at Robin and Ryan at, uh, at Wrexham, for example, I mean, they, they fell in love with the idea of owning a club. That's an all-encompassing project. Uh, you know, I'm not saying they're there every day, but they are committed to the area. They're spending a lot of time there. They are fully engaged with the project. If you look at something like Liverpool, when Fenway took over in April 2011, and LeBron James just comes out and buys, it's announced that he's bought a 1% share. I think he's increased to 2% share. Well, that was a really shrewd investment. You can make a, a very cogent case for that being the most sensible investment of the lot. So you don't get the hassle, you don't get the aggravation. You still get to go on the pitch and show your scarf off, just as, my, as Michael Jordan did down at, um, down at Bournemouth. But you don't get the week to week run it, the week to the week to week headache and aggravation. You also have to consider as well what, what's going on in these guys' lives. They might just want another challenge. They might just want to do something different. They might like the idea of going to putting a pin in the map, finding the nearest football club and going and improving the lives of people. If you're looking at improved facilities, improving grounds, making people happy, improving training grounds, providing support to people in historically deprived areas, I can't really see anything anything bad anything negative as of now now it may be a case of just making lucrative business deals for the celebs but the clubs themselves have also reaped the benefits star investments have contributed to the globalization of the sport by raising the brand awareness of the so-called smaller clubs this was the case at birmingham city and burnley when former nfl stars tom brady and jj watt got involved I think JJ Watt, I know he was approached by an intermediary saying, if you're interested in getting into the sport, this is a really good way for you to get in. And he held meetings and liked what he saw. It fitted with his brand because, you know, he's very much a sort of, you know, working class hero type guy. And I think a working class town like Burnley sort of fit with his image quite well. And he has actually, to be fair, you know, people are a little bit uh, cynical and skeptical about those kind of things. I've seen him on tons of shows in America, like in some very, very uh, highly watched talk shows and so on, where he comes on in a Burnley t-shirt or a Burnley baseball cap, it immediately becomes a talking point. And he's talking about Burnley on, you know, the Jimmy Fallon show or whatever. You know, he's making the case for Burnley and, uh, and promoting the brand. He is doing that. So you can see the benefit of doing that. Let's talk about a rising force. Female celebrity investors and their impact on women in football. In a traditionally male-dominated field, these women are reshaping the landscape, bringing fresh perspectives and contributing to the sport's growth. For example, the ownership structure of Angel City FC is reshaping the trajectory of women's sports with a distinctive approach. It boasts a diverse assembly of female celeb investors who not only bring their star power and reputation, but also their individual audience to the team. The model is elevating attention and awareness for women's football, leading to a surge in investment. Celebrity investors, exemplified by those involved with Angel City FC, are actively championing women's sports by challenging male-centered industry norms. You can definitely tell that that they're they're not just the stars like Natalie Portman and Serena Williams. Like they're not just there for for PR and purposes. They're invested in in this business and 
and Angel City. Like they are wanting to see equality in sports. LA is such a sports heavy city. There's so much going on. It's such a big city. Like it's hard to stand out as a brand new sports franchise. So these owners and founders, they were tasked with the challenge of how do we stand out in this in this extravagant city that has all these other things that people can put their attention to. Men-led sports club can be more traditional in the way that a, a sports franchise is run. I've seen a lot of clubs in the past in the NWSL that are a lot more uh, just power and money driven. So having the women's voices in the front office, I think can provide that sense of just, yeah, being able to, to relate to what those women are going through and what they, the supports that they need. So, in the exciting world of football, celebrities are not just fans of the sport, but now investors too. That's all we have time for this week. Do let us know your thoughts using the hashtag FootballNowCelebs, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.